A. So let's solve this problem. So find the difference of the given vectors. So we have this vector A and vector B. And to find the difference, that's vector A plus the negative vector B. So therefore, we need to find the opposite of this vector B. That's negative B. Then equals, just copy the magnitude, 5 meters. Then find the opposite direction. So the opposite of east, that's west. Then put this one in a plane. This one is north, south, the east, and the west. Then for this vector A, 7 meters, 60 degrees north of east. So this one for vector A. And that's 60 degrees north of east. This one is 60 degrees. Then for vector B or vector negative B, that's 5 meters to the west. So this one is vector B. That's 5 meters to the west. And to find the resultant vector or the difference of these uh, two vectors, we need to create a parallelogram and this is now the resultant vector or the difference of these vectors. Then to find the difference using this component method, so we have these vectors A and B and for the magnitude, for vector A, the magnitude is 7 meters, so this one is 7. Then for vector B, the magnitude, that's 5 meters, so this one is 5. Then for the angle, so take note that the angle always starts in the east. So again, the angle always starts in the east. So therefore, for vector A, from east to this angle, so vector A, is 60 degrees and for this vector B from east to vector B so therefore the angle is 180 degrees then to find the x component for vector A and vector B so for vector A x component that's m and the magnitude is 7 then cosine angle and the angle is 60 degrees equals so therefore that's 3.5 so for vector a the x component is 3.5 then for vector b the x component so we have the magnitude is 5 then cosine angle theta and theta is 180 degrees equals so that's negative 5. So for vector B, this one is negative 5. Then for the Y component, for vector A, so we have M or the magnitude is 7, then sine angle that's 60 degrees equals that 6.06 .06. so for vector a 6.06 .06. then for vector b so the magnitude is 5 then sine 180 degrees because theta is equal to 180 equals so vector b is 0 so y component for vector b is equal to 0. Then we need to add this x component, that's the summation of x, and the y component, that's the summation of y. So for this x component, that's 3.5, then plus negative 5 equals, that's negative 1.5. So the summation of x, that's negative 1.5, and for y, that's 
zero six. So this time we can find now the difference of these vectors using this formula. So the square of x component plus the square of dy component. Then substitute now the values for x component that's negative 1.5 then squared plus 4y component that's 6.06 .06, then squared then we have now the square root so we have negative 1.5 then to the power 2 plus 6.06 .06, then to the power 2 equals that's 38.97 so we have 38.97 then to solve for the difference so take the square root so the square root of 38.97 equals that's 6.24 so the difference of these two vectors is 6.24 meters. Then to solve for the angle, so using this formula, the theta is equal to inverse tangent of y component over the x component. So we have now the inverse tangent of y component. That's 6.06 .06, then over the x component, that negative 1.5. So we have now the inverse tangent of, so this 6.06, .06, then divide by negative 1.5 equals, that's negative 4.04. .04. So we have negative. 4.04 so therefore theta is equal so for this inverse tangent so shift then tangent then we have negative 4.04 .04 equals that's negative 76.10 uh, so theta is equal to negative 76.10 decrease so therefore since this one is negative so therefore the direction to the north of west so that's to the north of west so the difference now of these two vectors that's 6.24 meters at 76.10 degrees north of west. So this is now the difference of these victors.